Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. Welcome to this tutorial for SolidWorks Motion using a ballistic pendulum for an example. If you contact your account manager at Go Engineer, we can send the model to you. It is in SolidWorks 2012 format. There are four videos in this series. This is the introduction and overview. Next, go to the components, mass assignments, and mates. Following that is contact settings and the firing spring. And finally, the solver settings and results. Here we fire a 22 caliber projectile bullet into a 1.5 kilogram pendulum. This is the popular ballistic pendulum you may have worked in a physics or mechanics course. If you measure the maximum height of the pendulum after impact, you can determine the projectile muzzle exit velocity. We used a SOLIDWORKS motion spring to launch the projectile. We added gravity and performed adjustments to contact conditions and mates and the solution timing and the solver, which we'll show. Here are the equations cited from Wikipedia. You can invoke conservation of energy as soon as the projectile hits the pendulum and travels up with the pendulum. The kinetic energy value just after impact is exchanged with potential energy at the pendulum's maximum swing height, h. Mb is the mass of the bullet projectile, which is 2.6 grams, and Mp is the mass of the pendulum, which is 500 grams. On the left is the system kinetic energy just after impact. On the right is the system maximum potential energy. If you solve for the velocity v, that's the velocity of the pendulum and the bullet projectile just after impact. Next is invoke the conservation of momentum. On the left is the momentum of the bullet projectile at the muzzle exit, and on the right is the momentum of the bullet and the pendulum just after impact. To be complete, the left side should show the combined momentum of the bullet projectile and the pendulum, but since the pendulum starts at rest, its momentum is zero before impact, so it was omitted from the equation. We plug in the system velocity little v just after impact and solve for the muzzle velocity of the bullet vb. These equations apply for a totally inelastic collision. In other words, the bullet projectile should stick to the pendulum and travel with the pendulum as shown in the diagram. However, in this SOLIDWORKS motion study, you'll notice the projectile does not stick to the pendulum, instead it bounces. In motion, we can get around this by causing the bullet projectile to hit the pendulum and drop off with zero or near zero velocity. You can do this by adjusting the contact stiffness and damping, which we cover later. Also note the mass of the projectile at 2.6 grams is only about one half of 1% of the 500 gram pendulum mass. This helps a great deal for this case and the equations give very good approximations to the SOLIDWORKS motion study.